Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Brian here, and welcome back to Star Ocean The Divine Force. We finally met up with Antonio. We got a hold of the ship. Everybody's on the ship with us after they have done their respective things to go ahead and make sure that families won't be missed and that we won't think we won't kidnap them. And now we're after the Scorpion ship that attacked us to go ahead and go after the Emperor, Gaston, and that other guy. Well, I still don't know the name. Well, I know his name, but I don't remember what it was right now, even though I've seen him twice. The, the, the sword guy. And apparently Gaston and the other guy have gotten quite the body upgrade. We took care of him in the last episode, but it was a very one of the shortest fights I think I've ever had in this game. It was amusing to say the least, but it's like, wait, what? That was it? I mean, I don't know if it was that it was designed that you... The fight had to end after two of your characters die. I got nothing. I don't know. I'm just going off of what... I'm just guessing at this point, basically. And I don't even know where I'm going here. He said he was going to show everyone around, but he never really said where. Guess I should drop by the common area first. All right, and that would be where exactly? I guess in the residential area. Oh, the common. Ray. Hey, did my brother behave on your tour? Antonio is much more of a gentleman than you. Ouch! Aw, thank you. So, what do you think of the Aldis? How should I put it? It's incredible! <gasps> Every last bit of it! Nothing short of incredible! Every aspect of life here is like another world. No, no, another dimension. I figured the two it's of them would enjoy so it. astounding. I don't know where to begin. Let me say this. Preventing him from wandering off whenever I look elsewhere is proving quite a difficult task. I know full well that this journey will be difficult, but it is quite thrilling to think I will experience what was spoken of in Larkis for myself. Glad to hear it. You're welcome to wander and check everything out at your leisure. Any questions, feel free to ask Antonio or myself. On that note, Chloe? Yes, Captain. If you hear a voice come out of that, do what it asks, okay? Yes, understood. We've prepared rooms for each of you in the living quarters. Rest up as much as you can until we rendezvous with the Vela Gulf. Ugh. <sighs> Well, you know what the sad thing is, is that I, I should have known that we were going after the Federation ship. But for some darn reason, it just eluded me completely just now. I'm like, oh. So I'm just sitting here going like, oh. Yeah, really? Come on now. Your family must be one of the great houses of this sea of stars. Still, it beggars belief that you of all people could come from such a distinguished lineage. Wow, tell me how you really feel, Albert. Please, I would love to know more about how you, what you think of my uh, lineage. I have investigated Captain Curtis Aldridge. The record of his career suggests that he is quite the seasoned veteran. G2G, baby. G2K, baby. You need to make sure you show Leticia and the others the ropes of how things work out here in space, right? Ma'am. Yeah, find them all first. Oh, there she is. Antonio, my man, how you doing? All the fancy trappings of her life seem to have thrown Leticia and her friends for a loop. I'm sure they'll get the swing of things soon enough. Oh yeah, sure, 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 sure. I mean they're out in space, man. How can you not be excited by that idea? I mean, I'm always scared of it, because you know, it's like Okay, here here's my thing about space. Is this getting up to it? Once I'm in space, I think I'll be okay. But just getting into it would scare the shit out of me. Because I'm not a, 
kind of heights to begin with. And being up there that high would probably go ahead and drive me a little crazy. But I can imagine that the view from out there looking down at the Earth and the Moon has got to be gorgeous. The only thing that I would fear is that something would go wrong on the ship when I'm there. Technology doesn't like me very much. Sometimes. Some, most sometimes technology doesn't like me very much. Like, just recently, before I started this recording, the audio went out on my headphones. I'm like, ah, shit, did these things go? So I had to go out and do, like, a Bluetooth test on to Theo make sure no that they show. connected. And they did. But... I and I did ask him to come along. But... I found out that my... Oh, God, old thing just shit the bed on me, temporarily. Affairs. So I had to reset the, the computer, and then everything the was fine again. And assisting Lola with the Tyrannus. The inconvenience he of it all. That I worry Very first war problem. And to instead focus on my journey to the stars. Huh, understandable. Tough position. But, I'm sure working for the betterment of the kingdom will help him feel better. Right? I think so, too. We need to find out what Boldor is up to. Not just for Osirius and Vale. But for Theo as well. Agreed. You think Ray's gonna go Mario's Super to. Saiyan? She was up on the bridge last I saw her. Why do you care about Mario? Hello, who's this person? Oh, you're kind of special. Talk to you anyways. What should we do with this cargo address here? We've lost contact with Via Prime, so Maybe I we'll probably have to dispose of it as undeliverable. Lola's from the same planet. Could I give it to her to take? Oh, oh that was a... Oh. It's so tough not being able to go home. So, please... Oh, uh, you know what? I had done my best to avoid these things. I mean, I was gonna do all the quests and stuff like that, but then it just didn't work. Well, it, it worked, but I didn't really care at that point. Oh, hi, Nina. How far art thou, lady? Nina's still my favorite character in this game. Hey, Chloe. What's this? Um, Chloe? Mm, that's odd. Uh, Chloe? Chloe? <laughs> I don't think she's up there. She's not up there anymore. For the world, man. Oh! Oh! Would you look at that, Lotties? We can use the transport room to go ahead and transport ourselves back to after four or wherever we need to be. Although it seems like at this point in time, it's not available for us to use. So I guess I'm going to have to keep on moving as I am. Uh, where? Oh, let's go to the bridge now. She's probably in the bridge. Maybe. Oh, Mag, Ma uh, Midas. <laughs> you must be having a field day up here, bro. An entire galaxy full of items new to the eye. <laughs> be still, my beating heart. Yeah, I knew he'd like this. But um, you know, considering that Midas is in his thirties, and maybe how quickly he went gray. It must be. He must have a very stressful life. Midas was poking around a moment ago. He didn't break anything, did he? Simply say the word and I shall clap some restraints on him. <laughs> Thank you, Malkia. I don't think that'll be necessary, though. But if you want to put restraints on him, please, by all means, do so. Jesus. Taking the crash course, I see. Oh, there's so much to learn. I'd like to at least get a little more familiar with the Aldus before we meet up with the Vela Gulf, so that I may be of some use if the situation turns bad. Don't push yourself too hard. You must be plenty tired as it is. I can't allow myself to be tired. I don't want this to be a repeat of the Edis. I have a duty to protect the Aldus as a soldier of the Federation. I feel you, but getting proper rest also falls under your responsibilities as an Aldus crew member. So take it easy. Captain's orders. Got it? 
I'll do my best. I don't understand what happened, dude. I always find it amusing how never still Miles so much Marielle and I both don't seem to know about this entire situation. Might be a good idea to see what Duma can tell me. Leticia and everyone should be in the common area. The no, Malky is right here, so is Midas. And Marielle's right there, so It'll probably be it by the time we get there. But I always find it amusing. This is always the thing that I liked about Monk. She always does this thing. I don't know why, but every time she does it, I just feel like I have to do it with her. Like, if you want me to, I will put restraints on him. Uh, I just find that funny. But anyways, we need to go down to the commons. And talk to the big floating ball. Hello, Elena. I don't remember talking to you. Ah, if you'd asked me the first time, I wouldn't have to nudge you. Oh. God damn it! Don't talk to me! I never did there we go. I have investigated Captain Curtis Aldridge. The record of his career suggests that he is quite the seasoned veteran. Oh, uh, see now? This is what I was talking about, my brain, man. I just said at the beginning of this episode, that just eluded me now, too. Because I like Elena, there you go. She and Nina are my two favorites. That's why they're in my party. Her and my, those two and Midas, those are my three favorite characters. I mean, I like Leticia too, but Albert is okay when he's not being a dick, but. Anyways. I would like to know why you came aboard the Edis, Duma. We were dispatched to assess the integration suitability of Virgoldians. What? So the shippers we were dealing with were Scorpium? Affirmative. But the client sure seemed like a human, from what I could tell at least. The Scorpium Collective takes many forms. Some may appear entirely cybernetic, <coughs> others as cyborgs or androids. There are also those who are entirely organic in nature. Ah, great. It is freaking horrifying to know that we handled unknown cargo from unknown clients. So you're saying that if I succeeded in delivering you, all of Virgold would be Scorpium by now? Horrifying is an unfairly emotional evaluation. Integration with Scorpium is... Yeah, I don't care what you think, all right? Based on what we've seen and heard about it, that's how I feel. Deal with it. Understood. I cannot refute this statement. If Scorpium is truly acting in violation of our principles, it would be in defiance of our very existence itself. Are you confused? Do you even get confused? We cannot deny this possibility. There is a need for us to learn the truth of these events in order to carry out our mission successfully. We shall cooperate as much as possible when necessary. Oh, I'll see to it that you shall. Don't worry about that. After all, you're different from the other Duma, aren't you? Can we get some awesome lore now? Five minutes to rendezvous point. Ray, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. Put him on screen. Right on schedule, I see. I'll be on board shortly for that information exchange we mentioned. You serious? A sign of good faith from us. After we rendezvous, we'll warp out for one minute. After the transfer, we'll immediately warp back in. Maintain your course. I've just sent the data. Data received. Ah, looks to me like there's only one person in the transfer chamber. I'm not exactly thrilled about their terms, but seems we've got no choice. Understood. Maintaining course and confirming that of the Vela Gulf. Transfer will commence within one minute of exiting warp. Once Captain Curtis is aboard, we shall adopt a parallel course to the Vela Gulf. Captain's coming aboard. Uh, guess it's up to me to bid him welcome. Marielle, Leticia, come on with me. 
Not too savvy when it comes to Federation etiquette. Understood. Uh, I should go too? Sure. Yeah, all you gotta do is stand there. If there's three of us, it should deter Curtis from trying any funny stuff. Very well. Gotta admit, Captain, I wasn't expecting you to come along. It'll be easier for us to talk like this. Let's make this quick. The Vela Gulf is currently en route to the Manuk system. Captain, this emergency you mentioned. Are you Lieutenant Marielle Elkenny? There's a warrant out for your arrest, you know. He's so calm about it. And ready. We can explain all that and more in this intel exchange. First things first, though. Can I offer you a cup of freshly brewed Terran coffee? Don't mind if I do. Gotta love it when things come together. Goodness. To think such a thing took place in the Aster system. So, what is it that has you rushing off to the Manuk system? Manuk is currently under siege by a large fleet of Scorpium ships. Headquarters interprets it as a full-scale invasion. Ridiculous. That is impossible. I've been wondering about this. A Duma, I presume. You know about Duma? We've been gathering information on our end as well. The Duma are the ones proselytizing the Scorpium's integration ideology, correct? Affirmative. Scorpium is a being that seeks to evolve as a life form. Aggressive incursions are nothing more than an act that limits our evolutionary choices. Now it seems the Scorpium are no monolithic entity. The faction currently attacking the Manuk system are known as the Centralists. Centralists? Ray, do you think...? Yep, Centralists. That's the name Boldor mentioned on the Tyrannus. The entirety of Scorpion is composed of individuals linked without partiality. A central being cannot exist within our system. And yet Manuk is under siege by Scorpion calling themselves Centralists. How did Headquarters come by this intel? You know, Captain, it hasn't been that long since I left the Astoria, yet there seems to be too much new information. Hmm. Uh, there must be some connection between the Scorpium and the Federation higher-ups. Fleet Headquarters, specifically. Your assumption is correct. A significant number of fleet officers have broken off from the chain of command. Most of them were in contact at some point with the Scorpium on the planet of Veer. Headquarters decided to launch a rescue effort in the Manuk system. It's unclear who's friend and who's foe within HQ, however. We may even be following a Scorpion directive. And I'm even like... if that is the case, you can't just abandon them, huh? Captain Curtis, the Aldous is in possession of Scorpion data compiled by a soldier who escaped from Veer. We are currently pursuing the Scorpion ship that came to Aster 4. I'd like you to analyze that data and identify the ship in question once we reach the Manuk system. This is invaluable intel. We're in your debt. Yeah, no worries. Just reimburse me for the Yidus once this is all over and we'll be square. I'll see what I can do. Thank you for your time. I'll get back in contact as soon as we've identified the ship that you're after. We've exited warp. Commencing transfer. Please be careful. You as well. Oh my. And away we go! No, oh, maybe not. Okay, now we're gone. Oh my goodness. The Vela Gulf has sent us a location. 
ETA to the Manuk system is 25 hours. Exactly six hours behind the Vela Gulf. Don't sweat about what he said. The larger an organization, the easier it is to corrupt. Captain, please don't make light of it. Even a single ship deviating from the chain of command is cause for alarm. If all of these ships are under the influence of Scorpium, then the risk to the entire galaxy is very real. I too find something strange about all this. What do you mean? Little Duma's reaction. I also felt that what Captain Curtis told us did not line up correctly with what we heard from Lola. She stated that the Scorpium invading her home were acting in such a way as to avoid detection. I did not get the impression that it was attacked outright in the same way as this Manuk location is being attacked now. I think Lola's hunch may be right about Scorpium having infiltrated the Federation undetected. But isn't Duma also a part of Scorpium? It must be hiding something. Little Duma always remains silent when they wish to be deceptive. When they do speak, it is generally free of falsehood. This is why their assertion that Scorpium does not invade must be true. Right, Duma? Correct. Duma's the only link we have to understanding the Scorpium. We analyzed the data from the Tyrannus, but we still have almost no idea of who or what the Scorpium are. We won't learn much of anything until we confront them ourselves. As I discussed with Captain Curtis, it's most likely that the Scorpium faction attacking Manuk are in cahoots with the ship Boldor is on. The Vela Gulf has kindly agreed to help us track it down. I have detected other unidentified ships also approaching the Manuk system, where the Scorpium battleship is heading. However, support from the Federation is still far away. The Vela Gulf, Aldis, and Manuk fleet will have to handle this alone. So what you are implying is that it will be a difficult battle. That Shocking, is correct. I know. What will you do if Boldor is aboard that ship, and we find ourselves forced into combat with it? All I can say is that we should be ready for anything, even if it means taking them out. It would seem war is much the same here in the stars as it is in our world. Yep, you got that right. Which is exactly why I want you all to rest up before we reach the combat zone. I better get some rest too. That eh, might be a good idea. You never know what's gonna happen. Alright, let's see we're finally getting back into the action again. Cause all this stuff is getting bored. Actually it's not for me. I actually kind of enjoy this. There's so much information to handle though. I know my brain can take all this. I mean all I get is like a basic understanding, but holy crap man, it's just like oh god. Stop hitting me with all this science mobile jumble, please! It's too much! Just give me the dumb version of it, please. Give me the low IQ version of it so I can play along. Yeah, I'm not paying to sleep in my own house. Bella Gulf has reached the Manuk system. They have made contact with what appear to be two Scorpion ships. They are engaging in battle. All available hands to the bridge. I'm oh, coming. It's already underway. Better get to the bridge. Status report. The Manuk yeah. fleet has already suffered heavy losses. Shocker. They only have three vessels deployed currently, none of which have been able to attack effectively. Can you tell me, Ray, why is this Manuk fleet so inferior? Even up here in space, some folks have the technological leg up on others. Another Scorpion Shocker. battleship is nearing the Manuk system. ETA, two hours, three minutes. How long until the Aldis arrives? Two hours, 11 minutes. However, we could become embroiled in battle at any time. I'm sure we'll be fine. 
That slight pause seems to tell me otherwise. Captain, update. We will arrive in the Manuk system in six minutes. The Vela Gulf has disabled one of the Scorpion vessels. They are currently in combat with two ships, including the one that arrived shortly before us. Way to go, Captain Curtis. Battleships sure are on a different level, aren't they? Captain, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. Putting on screen now. Vela Gulf to Aldous. We only have eight torpedoes left. Hardly enough to take out these last two ships. We're going to focus on stalling them. Can you cover us? You can count on it. We'll be pulling into your sector in three minutes. Much appreciated. Vela Gulf out. The two ships engaged with the Vela Gulf are now designated as Scorpion Ship Bravo and Scorpion Ship Charlie. Warp out directly into the orbital path between the Vela Gulf and Scorpion Ship Bravo. Trajectory set. Red alert. Deploy full defensive shields. Set to Omni. Load all six proton torpedo launchers. Arm the phase cannons. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Shields at full. Proton torpedoes loaded. Phase cannons initialized. Everyone get to your seats and strap in. It's about to get bumpy. Currently maintaining distances of 500,000 kilometers with Bravo and 760,000 with Charlie. Fire three torpedoes at Bravo and immediately reroute to course 60 Mark Zero. Proton torpedoes away. Impact in 11 minutes. The Vela Gulf has also launched a torpedo at Bravo. That's a nice looking ship. And it's red too. I feel the color. has just fired four torpedoes at us. Activate auto evasion. Activating auto evasion. Ah, it's shaking! Calm myself. You might bite your tongue otherwise. Three of the torpedoes will miss, but one cannot be avoided. Brace for impact. Shields at 76%. Restoring them now. The, the rumbling is like an earthquake. We get any hits in? All three torpedoes failed to connect. Damn it! How could they miss at that interval? What sort of ship is that? Damn it! Open a channel to the Vela Gulf! Channel, open! Captain, follow this. Can you handle this? We'll make it work. Just go! Set phase cannons to fire simultaneously on both Bravo and Charlie. Program salvo burst to fire automatically in 10 second intervals on these coordinates. Understood. Divert to course 270, mark 180. Match the movements of the Vela Gulf. Roger, Captain. I'll do my best. Distance between Bravo and Charlie is 100,000 kilometers. Both ships are taking evasive action. That's where they collide, no, like in the opening. Bravo with all we've got. Two torpedoes have hit. Bravo has ceased turning. The Bell Gulf's attacks on Charlie also landed. Bullseye! Bravo and Charlie are on a collision course. Whoops. Those are impressive shields, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Scorpion ships Bravo and Charlie have collided. Both battleships appear to have been immobilized. For now. Don't get out of your seat just yet, though. We don't know what's still out there. Captain, the Bella Gulf is hailing us. Excellent work, Captain Raymond. 
Thank you. Thanks, but uh, it was the Vela Golf that did all the heavy lifting. We just came in to steal the show. The real work starts now. What do you intend to do? We're gonna board one of the Scorpion ships with Duma and investigate inside. Understood. They may be quiet now, but you're likely to face some strong opposition. Be careful. For sure. And I trust you got our back if anything happens. Can you tell me which ship is the one that came from Aster? Is it Bravo or Charlie? Uh, don't tell me it was the ship that went down before we even got here. It is fortunate we have the data from Lola. Bravo is the one we seek. So we're boarding the Scorpion battleship. Yep, you got it. Let's make our way over there now. Transfer chamber. Oh, oh I simply wanted to try saying it. Did I do so correctly? Hey, I was impressed. What is and all these? this now? Portable optic deflectors. You can wear these to protect yourself from portable optical weaponry equivalent to a Federation phase gun. Hmm. I see. It's like armor. Wait, pray. What exactly does all that mean? It's armor, basically. It means that even if you're hit by a glowing gun, like the one Marielle was using, it won't kill you. But that's not a complete guarantee, so don't get too cocky. Note that it also offers defense from physical attacks, such as bullets or knives. Finally, please attach these magnetic soles to your footwear. You can switch them on and off by touching your heels. Indeed. Being free of gravity's shackles ought to be fun. Do not even think of wandering off. Yeah, you know, is such a joy kill. <laughs> Oh, is this... What, why am I upside down? <laughs> Everyone, please remain calm. Turn your feet toward that surface there and touch your heels. Uh, okay, like this? Oh, that can hurt. Oh, yeah, of course. <sighs> so, this is the inside of a Scorpion ship, huh? <laughs> Which means we're in the belly of a living creature. It certainly does have that appearance. Rather unnerving. Oh, you Where know you're could Boldor be on a ship like this? Anywhere. If he's even still alive. All these... They were on this ship. We must hurry. If more Scorpium arrive, there's no telling what could happen. Strange. This vessel is... What's up? Ray, I am picking up multiple life signs ahead. Many of the Scorpium do not possess detectable life signs. I suggest exercising caution. Oh my, how fun is this? Why do you keep changing my party for? Much as I would appreciate Christmas, you know, but I gotta have my people, the people that. Uh, wait a minute, I screwed up. Give me my people. Her. Hate when the game tries to change my party on me. Yeah, it thinks it knows. Yeah, it thinks it knows what I want, but it doesn't know anything. It's going against my two girl, two guy system. I will have none of that. Her. Okay, let's go. Let's move on. Look, we could probably get through there. Yeah. Oh my. Initiate emergency protocol. I did not understand a word of that. Enemies up there. Stress. Why are you stressed? I should probably power up first, I guess, huh? Does he 
Is anybody listening to Duma talk right now? Because, I mean, I'm, I can see the subtitles, but I'm too busy flying to understand what's really going on. I guess I'll figure it out when I edit this, I suppose. Here we go. I must say, they all look quite different from each other. The forms of life integrated into Scorpion are not limited only to humanoids. Yeah, makes sense if they can get as large as the ship. I wonder what type of creature it used to be. A dragon? Hold the damn phone. Isn't that a Federation soldier's uniform? It also belongs to a high-ranking officer. We can worry about that later. Oh yeah. Keep forgetting I gotta waste my a AP to level a Later, loser. Energy levels low. Come on, my dude. Where's your gravity shoot, man? Keep it going away on me. Military officer from Earth. Jeez, this proves things aren't looking good for the Federation underbelly. This yeah. raises the likelihood that the Centralist Scorpium have had direct influence on the Federation. A dead end. Let's see. Use large debris from another location as a platform to move to and from the other side of the path. Find debris and give it a shove. In the right direction. We should search the area. Never know what useful stuff we might happen on. Thank you, Midas. All right, how are we gonna get across there now? I wonder. Oh, it looks like we got ourselves something big and heavy over here. Sweet. Oh God, this is gonna suck. Nina, you okay over there? Looks like you're having a seizure over there. All right. Well, it's like it's pointing me this way. That I can't just like do one of those things where just like. Alright, so what can I push? Oh, this is gonna take a while, I can already tell. Did someone die? That hit it with the sword? Yep, that didn't work. Shocker! You know, I appreciate that Duma came with me. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. Damn it, I was so close! Survival dropping. Oh shit, I didn't realize that was gonna happen. If I die, does that mean I get a game over? So, apparently, there was something over there that I saw. But I gotta get over there. go outside of the zone for I don't understand okay all right so where's this taking me now it's taking me over here hey we might be able to move this junk here with a little oomph. okay well that's nice to know do we have an item we can get this looks like it's acceptable Wait. Very nice, very nice, very um. You will need to leave more to be as a platform to grab, blah, 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 and then shove it in the right direction. Okay, thank you. So he says I can just give this an oomph. But where do I oomph it to? And how do I oomph it? Do I just fly into it and just magically hit it? Is that how that works? You know what? What the hell? I got nothing to lose, right? Oh shit! Except for my life, damn it. Oops. Oops. Okay! 
Well, that was easier than I made it out to be. So, where are we now? Do we just come back to where we just were? Oops, not what I wanted. Okay, so now we're over here. This is exactly where I just was. Target sighted. Shush. Okay, so that's the so I guess I gotta hit it again, I suppose, huh? Alright, let's hit it again. Let's see where it takes us. Why are you going back that way for? Uh, I guess there must be a different chunk of debris I can use. Awesome! We made it! Did we? Let's keep oh, look at that, we actually did. Wow, we fortune smiles upon the bold, I guess. For the brave. Whatever. Target sighted. Where is their sighted target? In here, though. See, there it is, right there. Sweet. Thank you. I feel like I should save. I haven't saved in a while. Where do we stand right now? We're level 59. 69, dude. Hey, look. There seems to be some infighting. Ridiculous. Ooh, a samurai guy. To deny something occurring in front of us? It doesn't match you. They also have Federation officer uniforms. <sighs> Must... Exercise caution. <laughs> I do enjoy a good Scorpion? Are you with Pangalactic Federation pursuers fighting in this system? And what if we are? We are not your foe. We do not wish to fight either. I beg of you, do with me as you will. But please, save the rest. The rest? Letizia, um, behind it. You are protecting oh. these people? From other Scorpion? The Centralist must not be allowed to have them. These are refugees of war who have lost their homes. Please, you must help them. And why should we believe you? You mean to say that the Centralist Scorpion do in fact exist? Aha! Duma! This will make things easy. It is hard to accept, but it would appear we must acknowledge the existence of the Centralist faction. Oh my. What is the matter? The Scorpion that refer to themselves as Centralists are in rebellion against the existing network. They are attacking those the existing network has deemed suitable and assimilating them by force. Oh, that's rude. This vessel was headed for a Scorpion colony. Carrying those people behind me. However, the ones we took aboard on Aster 4 summoned the Centralists and we were dragged into this conflict. You refer to Buldor, Valange, and Gaston. Wait a minute. So those two Veer were Centralists all along? Though Centralists, they are still Scorpion. It is merely a difference of thinking. They initially sought rescue simply because they lacked the means of reaching space. 
we respond out of a desire to aid our comrades. Only to get screwed in the end. Because of that, all these people are now embroiled in a war? It's unforgivable. But this one is Scorpium too. And it's assimilating a large number of innocents into its collective. Fate was fair, it seems. It appears you have deemed integration into Scorpion as something malevolent. You are saying it is not? At least in my case, it was a means of survival. I became one with Scorpion by my own choice and that of no one else. There are countless others, aside from myself, whose lives were saved by integration as well. I forget his name, but I huh. like his well, voice that was actor. unexpected. Regardless, this vessel is doomed. I ask once more that you at least save these people behind me. I am going to put a stop to those who commandeered this ship. They are a danger to the Scorpion Network. What do you want to do? Let's help. We're able to reason with him. And he can tell us more about the Scorpion. Right? Please? Fine. So be it. You, uh, got a name, bud? Please, call me JJ. That's easy All to right, remember. JJ. We'll do all we can to help you out. But, in exchange, I want you to tell us everything about the Scorpion. Thank you. Whoa, they whoa. got the Ogos, I must die. I must paint a strange picture, bowing before you in this body. However, let this be proof that I remain still an individual, though I bear the form you now see. I think he looks cool, personally. For saving the lives of my friends. Uh, what exactly is happening here? A courteous bow. God. There's a chest over here. Items too? Alright, where is it? You don't just... You don't just let, put a chest in there and it does not allow me to go find it. Ah, hell. I don't care anymore. What do you got? Sorry. Was in charge of the supplies on this you look like an Akatsuki member. If you number. need anything, I'm sure we can work out a bargain. Thank you. Alright, maybe we can actually get ourselves some weapons too. A healing device. So, device that helps this first physical stimulus for blah, blah, blah. Try a high performance unit, 25%, blah, 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 blah. I'm more worried about getting, like, uh, weapons and armor at this point. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, come on. Why can't I go to. Oh, it's because you only do items, that's why. Damn it all. I was trying to get like weapons and armor and it they only do items. Alright, I guess I'll take these things as well. Might as well, right? Alright. What's this? A mental stimulant. Cures all status ailments. Alright! Sorry that this is all I can offer. Take care if you plan on going further. Thanks. Oh, we're going further, alright. It's a matter of how much longer it's going to take us to get there. By the way, did JJ come with us? Is he with we us now? time before the ship goes down, yeah? We've got business to take care of the we That Thomas, we do. Back. This has to take priority. We've handled right. all the enemies in the area, so they should be safe here for the moment. Good lord, Magnus. Roger that. Very well. To the bridge. That's where you'll find them. Thank you, JJ. What information do we have on those who took over the ship? Oh, well, there's... Mm. Orgor. Valange. Valange. And Gaston. 
Wait. They're Virian, are they? Thank you. I appreciate the intel. Uh, uh, what was that all about? Is JJ with us right now? Ah, uh, JJ must be a guest. Ah, he's a guest. That explains a lot. It appears they are not like that. We should ready ourselves before we open it. Nah, yeah, we've done all we can. Literally, we've done all we can. Let's just do this. Let's just face our our fate and hope for a good outcome. I do love the wait a minute. I thought I was going in like an inter No! I saw it too late. Baldor! Balange, Gaston. Well, well, Princess Leticia. Oh, he's been I integrated. I did not expect you would dare to follow us all this way. Baldor, what have you done? Integration, my child. My power now exceeds imagining. It is no small wonder there are so many scorpions spread throughout the universe. We're gonna die. But how? I am certain that man was not integrated when he first came aboard. There was still some time until our escort from Central would arrive, so we had him added to the network a tad early. From the way, oh. the Emperor was most impressive. His integration went flawlessly. I knew those things were Baldur, trouble. What is it you hope to bring about with this power? Destruction. Duh. As an emperor, it is only natural to desire peace and prosperity for my people. Halcyon days lie ahead for the subjects of Vale in all of Aster Four through Scorpium integration. Our planet will be connected, one network, one beating heart, free of war and suffering. Except for the and war we're just going to face now. People. Yes. Yes. Nevertheless, I cannot allow senseless Scorpion to bring such a thing to pass. Bulldor! Aster Four is not ready for this power from the stars. I shall end your ambitions here. Will you though? I mean, look at that. You got a really big guy in the background and another guy. Oh, it's a tip. They killed Mina. Oh, God, they killed Mina. That bastard. They killed Mina. It's like, it's like like when they killed Kenny. Energy levels low. Humans fight each other as well, do they not? Only through conflict can understanding emerge. Why do I find that? Very sad. Alright, you fool. While well, everyone else is doing their thing, I think we should bring you back. Resurrection Elixir. Alright, here we go. Oh, shit. I probably should have just went into that, should I? I feel like I can't blindside him right now. Is he actually gonna be gone? Or is he still gonna be here afterwards? Fire! 
I mean, like, cause I'm getting tired of fighting guys and then having them be alive later on. It's getting kind of annoying. It's not that it's getting old. If you know what I mean. Ultimate power, he says. Thank you, darling. Is he actually gone? Please tell me he's actually gone. <laughs> you are strong indeed, Scorpio Warrior. It's like we didn't even lay a scratch on him. Sir. How can he be so strong, so soon, after integration? Yeah, no kidding. He's on a completely different level than other Scorpium. Emergency communication from the Vela Gulf. Ray, the Astoria is approaching Scorpium ship Bravo at high speed. The Astoria? Those bastards love to hide. Get out of there, Ray. They're gonna fire! It would seem we are done here. Yes, it would. Our escort from Central has arrived. It's the, uh, the Astoria is connected with the Centralists? Would knowing that change anything? This yes. ship will be destroyed, along with your own. Colonel Valange, is this truly what you desire? Lola lives. She awaits your return. There's no going back for me. I am truly sorry, Princess Leticia. I find myself unable to save you. Oh, so he's Gaster, that's the line. Damn it! It's the Astoria. They're changing course. And they've locked onto us. We can't shake them! And run! No! Stop! Please! Are we gonna lose a third freaking ship? Novella go! Chloe, transfer all detectable life signs aboard this ship. JJ, grab onto me. The Bella Gulf has engaged the Astoria. Captain Curtis, you saved our bacon. We only escaped thanks to you. Don't think you're out of the weeds just yet. The Astoria seems to have it out for you. Get out of here while we hold them off. The Federation should be the ones to atone for all this. Son of a bitch! Get us out of the Manuk system at max warp! All hands, brace for warp speed! Wait! We must help them! There's nothing we can do if we stay! The Captain's efforts will be in vain! Entering emergency warp. Course 180. Mark 180. Engines at maximum. Oh, dear. No signs of pursuit. We have successfully escaped the Manuk system. You know that's not going to be the end of them. What do we do now, Ray? That's JJ. definitely not the end of them. I heard you say that Scorpium ship was an evacuation vessel. Can we have civil discussions with other non-centralist Scorpium like you? There are no hostile Scorpium among those who saved I and my comrades. What the hell are you talking about? That ship attacked the Akizuki! Only because your own vessel acted in a way that the Scorpium Network deemed hostile. You were hiding and waiting for your chance to strike. That was a mistake in Scorpium's judgment! <laughs> hey, you know the coordinates of your destination? Don't tell me you're thinking of going straight to their base! We've lost Baldor and the others. We don't know whether the Vela Gulf survived. The Aldis can only sustain these evacuees for a couple days at most. Do we really have any other options? If you will give us passage to the colony, we of the Scorpion can promise to welcome the Aldis with open arms and with peace. JJ is not lying. I recommend cooperating with them. 
in our investigation of these centralists. Is your colony a Scorpium too? And where the hell is it? It is a Scorpium construct in the form of a colony. You will find it 700 light years from here. Oh, There's no way we can travel that far. <laughs> we can arrive swiftly if we pass through the wormhole 6.2 light years from here. Can you input the coordinates of the wormhole? Yes, a wormhole does indeed exist at this point. If we travel through it, we will reach the colony within 24 hours. Convenient. We possess the key to the wormhole. The Aldis is now en route to the Scorpium colony. We're bringing the refugees home. My thanks. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. You oh. You oh. even are the Scorpion. Guess I might as well ask. Better head for the living quarters. I have thoughts. I... I feel like it's just dragging now. I mean, did we really lose Baldor, Valange, and, um, Gaster? I feel like that somewhere along the line, they're gonna come back. And if they really truly are gone, that's good, but... I feel like they may have found a way to escape. I don't know, this is just, it's boggling my mind. I am confused, still enjoying the game itself, but I'm like, wait a minute, what the heck is going on? <laughs> There's so much at play now, you got the Scorpion Colony, that wants to integrate with new species, which is cool. But then they start talking about all this other stuff. And you know what? I'm not even going to go into it. Because I don't even know how to word it in my own head. I'll just be babbling and saying a bunch of crap that doesn't even matter. Probably won't even pertain to what I'm even trying to make as a point to begin with. So, we'll leave this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Normally at this point I probably could figure out when a game is close to its end or not. But... This one's actually really kind of kind of got me in baffled right now. It's fun, like I said, but it's just it's confusing. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hopefully, maybe if you're still watching at this point. If you are, thank you. I appreciate it. Bye for now, everyone. Have a good one. <laughs>